Good Monday evening, Southeast Texas. Hope you're doing well. Modeling has just been too wet this past weekend. Um, we're going to go with scattered, possibly numerous showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. May not see that much. My uh, confidence level uh, for tomorrow is that it's low and it could be drier than what I have. However, Thursday and Friday, much higher confidence as higher pressure builds on into the area. Looks like a return to hot, dry. May not see even this, but a hotter, drier scenario as higher pressure builds on in. Then over the weekend, we'll be watching a trough of low pressure build in from the north, and that could give us a scattering of showers and thunderstorms. We've got upper level low pressure off towards our east over Louisiana. Quite a bit of tropical moisture. Notice all the yellows and orange over southeast Texas. Lots to work with, but that's no guarantee you'll see heavy rainfall. It points to that possibility. So again, my confidence is not real great for tomorrow. Could see only a 40% coverage here in the triangle. Well, I'm hoping that way. What we'll see a drier weather pattern. Regardless, we're watching the tropics with great uh, interest as we continue to watch Invest 92L. This is uh, less than uh, 900 miles to the east southeast of the Windward Islands. This will likely become a tropical depression or tropical storm, as you can see the high probability of that happening over the next two to five days. Latest ensemble modeling takes this right on in. Uh, towards the um, Bahamas as we head towards Saturday. Question is, does it move into the eastern Gulf of Mexico? Way too early to tell, but uh, the upper level pattern will be key once we get into uh, late this week and into the weekend as far as whether that turns west or s continues moving off towards uh, the uh, west-northwest. Regardless, upper level low pressure over our area, our general region, will break down tomorrow and begin moving on out as we head towards, say, Wednesday and into Thursday and Friday. Higher pressure temporarily builds into our area. High pressure causes sinking motions in the atmosphere, and we believe that that's going to bring a hotter, drier scenario. Then we're watching this trough of low pressure moving out of the central plains. That drops on to the south, and that will likely enhance rainfall in our forecast coming up once again. Let me show you, modeling just too wet across the area today. As you can see, didn't get that much. Regardless, I think uh, tonight will be just a slight chance this evening. Then we probably will see redevelopment along the coastline in the morning. But as you can see, Futurecast just not showing this much. This is some of the high resolution modeling. We'll give it about a uh, 50 to 60 percent coverage. And again, may not see that much as this activity then works off towards the lakes area. Look at the highs reaching the 90s in the lakes area coming up tomorrow. So our forecast on the Gulf of Mexico calls for slightly choppy seas around one to two feet in your coastal marine forecast, the southeast wind at five to 10 knots. Only one high tide tomorrow at Sabine Pass at 9.42 a.m. So a 20% coverage this evening, then we'll ramp it up to about a 30 to 40% coverage towards the morning hours, early morning hours prior to dawn in the triangle. Low temperatures will drop into the lower to middle 70s with light and variable winds. Again, probably going to be drier than what you see here as, yeah, there's a lot of elements or variables that are pointing towards uh, pretty good rain chances. But again, it may be that the low is too far to the east to really uh, ramp up shower and thunderstorm activity. So we'll go with high temperatures in the upper 80s to near 90. And again, a 40 to 60 percent coverage. Rain chances coming on down, though, much higher confidence as we head towards Thursday and Friday as highs rebound into the lower 90s. And, and with that trough of low pressure building in from uh, the northern plains into our region will enhance rainfall once again. But at this point, it does not look like an all-day rain coming up this weekend. Download our app. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.